everyone, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandra of the Hottie Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. This reading is for my Cancer Sun, Rising, and Moon signs to cover you for the month of October as far as what this month is going to look like, what it's going to feel like, and what you need to hear, feel, and do. Okay? So for those of you guys that are wondering, Jess, I was really hoping for astrology, um, predictions in this well the reason why I'm focusing on intuitive and in the cards exclusively for these readings is because I post every week astrology my astrology predictions and I was going to save that for the week so I'm not repeating myself so that's to explain that the cards that I have here are right here for you I haven't seen them so I don't know what they are and I also want to invite you to check out your Sun your rising your moon sign in the other readings that way you get a full grasp of what's in store for you for the month of October. All right, I think we're ready to dive in. So the first thing I'm seeing is the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Very soon, trust, turn on your love light. The reason why my brow is furrowed is because I just had a visual of someone, but I can't say who it is, but it's not who I normally would see. It's someone totally different, but I'm, I can't say who it is, so maybe I shouldn't have said it, but I, if you guys are reading my face, that's why. Um, purification, focus, <laughs> have confidence, nurture yourself, death, the walrus, remain vigilant and about the current situation, pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. So even as I'm seeing that, it kind of confirmed what I just saw. And then making a choice. So give me a second with this. First thing I say, I say to you guys, give me a second and then I'm like, wait, so, but wait, there's more. So there's a, there's many, some of these readings, they all come together just they all make one grand message for you guys i'm feeling several different messages in one reading first thing is when i see turn on your love light and i see focus yeah <laughs> and the walrus yeah okay when I see these, I'm sorry you guys, I really wanna take my time with this, but when I see turn on your love light and focus, it reminds me of someone literally clicking on a light and you're like, Ooh, what are you doing? And it's like, okay, got your attention. I got your attention. So there's something here that it's not that you are choosing to be vigilant. It's not that you're choosing to draw your attention that way. Something is drawing your light to it. Something is drawing your focus to it. And it's coming to you like a light. <sighs> That's one thing. That's one message. The next message that I'm seeing for my Cancer suns, rising, and moon signs, um, separately or all individually, is there's an Ace of Cups here, and then there's Purification. And she's also holding an Ace of Cups. And she's also holding a Dove. And the thing is, is that I see, and especially with this make a choice card, this make a choice, she has two different options here. I'm not saying, or I don't think that you, you are having to choose between two separate things, although for some of you guys that might be the case. I feel as though this is a really strong message for you guys that anything that you choose to do, it has to be something that gives you peace and um, like tranquility is probably not the right word, but it doesn't stir up your spirit and, and like gives you anxiety and gives you internal tension. Every, that's what this is, is about purification. This card is purification. It's the choices, the options, anything that's presented to you, no matter how good it sounds or how, how much you're like, mm, is this even promising? If you, sometimes the biggest blessings, you would never see that they're a blessing because you wouldn't have known that that is a blessing. But the universe wraps it up in an interesting package and when you say yes to it, you're like, oh, okay, this is for me. Sometimes what looks like the biggest blessing on the external, internally, you're like, this doesn't seem like a good blessing, but it seems like it's the right thing to do because how could this not be a blessing because look at it. But intuitively, you know that that's not the right choice for you. You have to use discernment. So sometimes there's a choice 
that shows up within your life that no matter how it looks or how it seems, follow your intuition, use your discernment. If it shakes you, if it makes you, if it provokes you, if it triggers you, that's not the right choice. That's not the decision that you need to be making or that's not the um, option that you need to choose. Those are things that you're laying to rest. Those are things that are being transformed. Those are things that you are releasing. And it's kind of like, it almost is reminding me of gladiators where they're like, poom, poom, poom. Like they have these like, like um, sticks with two uh, big cushions on the end. I don't really know what to call that, but they're just kind of, you know, bouncing certain things off of them and, you know, ducking. Follow your intuition when it comes to what you're allowing to come in and what you need to deflect, what you need to push off. Because right now, Cancers, what I'm seeing is there is a purification process that is happening. And again, it's not that there's options that are presenting themselves, but it's everything that you decide to do. It has to feel good for you. It has to bring peace. It has to be a healthy choice. And you have to also trust okay trust and have confidence in your own ability to make decisions to call the shots you have to trust your ability to nurture yourself and to take care of yourself and that the decisions that you're making are actually in your best interest the only person who knows really what is right for you and how it makes you feel is you so your decisions like no one can make those decisions for you because you know how you feel so you have to give yourself the power and you have to purify and cleanse yourself. That's what this death is. And I don't even see this as a bad thing. Even though this death card is so black and white, you have all these cards around you that are, even the king of swords. Normally the king of swords is so hard bodied. Like he's so stoic and so emotionally removed and um, canceling things out and rejecting them and just saying no instead of yes and doesn't allow himself to receive pleasure and joy and romance and love and blessings and abundance. In this case, I don't see those aspects of the King of Swords. I see the side of him that's just like, um, let me see it again. Okay, this is a yes. This shows me like Archangel Michael. Like it reminds me of Archangel Michael where it's like he comes across, he can cut things, he can slice things like a hot blade, but he does it from such a compassionate place. And I'm seeing that you are doing this for yourself from such a compassionate place. And that's what's being purified right now. So trust in your ability to make the right decisions for you. There are certain things that the more that you give to yourself, the more that you give yourself a chance, the more that you're making choices that make you feel good, you keep turning that light on to yourself. Like you turn that light on, that love light, and it draws certain things to you, but it also, you are your own light. You are your own life source. So you're not relying on other people. You're relying on yourself. And that's just like what you're focused on, what, you're, what you should be focused on. This says, okay, very soon, clearly decide what you want, right? Purification, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. Do you want this, this? Do you want both of this? What is it that you want? Trust that, nurture yourself. When you make that choice, it will manifest. And don't worry about anything kind of um, dissolving away because it's, it's, it's just coming around in another form. In fact, I don't see this as a, a time for you of just transformation where you're seeing like the things that you love most melting away. I see it as you're just so focused on where you're going. You're so focused. Yeah, see, focus. Turn on your love light. You're so focused to where you're drawn to go that the choices and decisions that decisions that you make are just steps. They're like little stepping stones that are taking you there. And it's just saying that, these cards are saying that for the month of October, the decisions that you make, just let them be out of a, of a space of peace and follow your intuition, trust your intuition. And again, sometimes the blessings that are coming through, you don't see it. Like, it's not initially how it how you see it, it's how it makes you feel. And some things that you are going to be called to say yes to are things that you wouldn't logically say yes to. But your intuition, and because you're trusting your intuition, you're going to find that that is the best blessing. And this is all things that are coming to you very soon. And some things that you should say no to are things that you will be called to say no to, but they make sense to say yes to them on the external, but it's internally your decisions. It's you paying very close attention to how it makes you feel. 
is what's going to, oh my God. And I just looked down and it says the walrus. Remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. It's not about what it looks like on the outside. It's how does it make you feel? You have to be very, very, very vigilant on these vibrations. Because you'll know. Clearly decide what you want so that you so that it comes to you now and also nurturing yourself. I just also am seeing you inviting in. Maybe you're the person who's turning on the light and that's the universe saying, or you saying, this is what I want. I want pure love. I want pure this. I want pure that. I want to totally detox myself from these things that I don't like anymore, I don't love anymore. So as soon as you call that out, as soon as you put that out there, it just manifests. And it's like you turn the light on and things just be like, oh, what's that? Oh, okay, that's where I gotta go. So then not only are you aligning with certain things, but certain things are aligning to you so that they focus on you, so they're coming through. And that's part of this purification process, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you, my Cancers. I hope that that reading makes sense for you. Let me know down in the comments how things are unfolding and keep us posted, because especially me posted, because I would like to know. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know with a thumbs up or leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to do this again for the month of November, okay? I'll see you in my next video, bye.